Simpson's got Pondo Yak, who was in behind if he could have threaded that ball. Instead, here's a chance for the Reds on the counter. They're just dominating possession, the home team. Pantelis made room for the cross, but only as far as Seleski. Wonderful calm defending. Billy Seleski brought that ball down. Hernandez is onside against Falcatus. Carlos Hernandez! Was it over the line? It doesn't matter. Because Danny also, right in front of the travelling fans, gives them the lead. They've got the away goal already. Wonderful work from Carlos Hernandez. So often the provider out of midfield. That time he was the one who made the run in behind the defence. Ponduyak with a raking pass. Picked him out. And Carlos Hernandez, the thunderbolt, cannoned off the upright. Wonderful ball into the space. The run from Hernandez in behind. And he didn't get two. He got one touch and he smashed it hard. It looked like it may have been over the line. Didn't matter. Danny also, as ever, alert to the situation, following it up. Carlos Hernandez, one touch, and then unleashed a volley. And Danny also with the easiest of tasks. Just his third goal in 14 games against the Reds, Danny Alsop. Surely that was over the line from Hernandez, but was Hernandez offside? Ernie Mer Merrick has put plenty of pressure on the officials during the week about line ball offside decisions. He said 13 one-on-one -on -one opportunities have been spurned by a flag going up throughout the season. He put the pressure on the officials and that was mighty tight for Hernandez. Clear hand ball from Paul Reid to control that one, but it's allowed to go. Here's Sarkis. Great save with the boot from Theopatos. That was sliding in. Another wonderful run from midfield from Christian Sarkis into the gap in the penalty box. The ball played in by Reid, but quick as you like. Theoklatos was alert to the danger. Ball rolling up the arm, but then after that, wonderful work. And then the goalkeeper with the spread leg. Again, they work it beautifully in a tight situation. Hernandez almost caught out Galekovic. Oh, was he going for goal or was he trying to find Alsop? Oh, I think he was trying to find Danny Alsop, but it wasn't far away. And you can tell by the fact that Galekovic was scrambling big time. He wasn't sure himself, but again, it was the in-tight passing and control of Archie Thompson and Carlos Hernandez. Alsop made the run to the near post. Seleski sets off on a run, rewarded by Pondoyak. Pondoyak just drops the shoulder on Sarkis, slides it through, here's Hernandez! Great save, Galenkovic! What a grip with the right hand! Oh, wonderful save, Galenkovic. Hernandez thought he was on for number two. Again, brilliant forward play by the Melbourne victory. The passing and moving, cutting open Adelaide again. It's finally stringing some passes together, but not in a threatening area. And given away by Dodd and Reid. Here's Thompson again, two on two. He's got Hernandez in support. Archie Thompson. Galekovic. He got a hand to it and somehow off both posts. I tell you what, that is an incredible save from Eugene Galekovic. And then he got the luck that he deserved because Archie Thompson just streaked away from the Adelaide defence. Again, cheap turnover by Adelaide in the middle of the park. All of a sudden, Archie Thompson two on two with Hernandez against Valkanis and Oganowski. Thompson went himself, smashed the shot. What a save by Galekovic, a left hand that time and off both posts. <laughs> Wonderful goalkeeping and a slice of luck. Archie Thompson thought he got number two for the Melbourne victory. That's great goalkeeping. Cleared by Musket. Again, also can just turn, which is pretty poor by the Reds' defence, he'd suggest, in the middle. Finds Nicky Ward. Nice shape for the shot here instead. Tries to play the one-two. Nicky Ward! Well, Zalowski was playing the advantage, but Nicky Ward should really have made the most of that advantage and buried that one. We blew the whistle early, the referee. It was the give and go again. It's been so fruitful for the Melbourne victory this afternoon. <laughs> Archie Thompson certainly looks among the most lively out there at the moment as we go past the hour mark. Quite a few of these players are feeling it, understandably. Here he is again, the live wire. 
Allsop trying to hold the run. Great feet again. Tees up Grant Brebner. Just sliced his shot. Can hit them from there, though. We've oh. seen that down the years. His eyes lit up, didn't they? Grant Brebner, wonderful lead-up work again from Thompson. You were waiting, waiting for him to release Allsop. Ernie Merrick, you think he'd be more than satisfied with a 1-0 result to take back to the Telstra and they'd be very hard to toss, you'd think, with that advantage, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think he'd be well pleased with how things have unfolded here. And they double it, though. Hernandez! Kolekovic couldn't hold Allsop on the follow-up and Moroni got a crucial touch in. Another wonderful bit of play by Melbourne victory. Carlos Hernandez, vicious drive. Kolekovic did well to get his body in the way and then Moroni he kept his head under pressure from Allsop. Breaks for Todd. Just couldn't keep it down, the captain. That was a chance out of nothing, but a great chance. And it was fashioned firstly by the con contest made by Paul Agostino. And then all of a sudden, the willingness, Scott Jamison, just put his body on the line in against Kevin Muskin. And it fell invitingly for Dodd. And the victory fans just did their bit to try and chew up the clock by throwing a second ball back onto the pitch. But Strebray Dolosky immediately pointed to his watch saying, He'll be adding the time on for stoppage time, so we could see a bit of it here at High Marsh. A wrestle between Allsop and Ognanovsky. Allsop's away. He's got Thompson unmarked, but he didn't need him. Danny Allsop makes it 2-0 to the visitors. That is a very handy lead to take back to the Telstra Dome. Wonderful finish from Danny Allsop. First, the physical presence. He muscled his way into possession, and then the cool head and the clinical finish. It's been difficult to beat Galekovic this year, but that time Danny also, what a wonderful finish, outmaneuvered Ogdenovsky, and then one touch into the penalty area, and bang with the right foot across the keeper, too much power, Melbourne victory 2-0. Sash Ognanovsky is lucky Allsop didn't go down or he would have been missing from the second leg, you'd suggest, with a red card coming his way. Allsop wasn't prepared to go to ground. He knew he had a goal-scoring chance, and didn't he finish with a plomb? It was always a possibility, though. You just sensed that they were so committed to going forward with the speed of Allsop and Thompson. They could be in trouble. Here's Paul Reid. Cut out by Musket. There might be a chance on the break for a third. Musket looking for Thompson. Timing his run. He's onside, Archie Thompson. Can he make it three? Well, he should have done better. Archie Thompson slid through beautifully by Kevin Musket. And that was Melbourne victory at its best. Blistering counter-attack led by the captain.